Hello listeners, this is Chelsea Kay, podcaster. Welcome to today's podcast on decisiveness. We all need to make decisions. Do you make the right decisions? Are you able to decide at the right time? Do you make bad decisions? Become decisive to make the right decisions all the time. Be an individual that knows what to do, knows the timing and when to do it. Recognize the people and the situations that you're in and learn to choose and to be aware of your surroundings. There are times when people are indecisive and when they are indecisive, they allow other people to take advantage of them. Are you one of those who are decisive or are you indecisive? And do you often get become indecisive? There are individuals who are always indecisive, where they don't know what is best for them. And they easily get detoured by people's comments and advice, people telling them exactly what they think is best for them. But they are not sure what decision is best. And they may turn to listen to the friends and the people around them just because they think that that counsel might be helpful or good for them. And they may not know for themselves whether or not the results of that is actually reasonable for their own situation. People fall prey it easily to get caught up by others into choosing what they have given to them to decide. It's so easy for people to make bad choices when they don't know what's the best choice for them. And if a person that you are with is very persuasive, and you are not the type of person who can stand firm to make a decision, you will obviously give in to that person. Whatever they offer you, you will think that it's good for you too. And you'll believe every word they say, even if that's going to have a cost added to you that's very severe. Because sometimes people will offer you great things, but the cost associated with it is not worth the value. So you need to know for yourself whether or not you can trust those people. What is the consequence in listening to them? And what is the benefit in listening to them? Does it benefit you or does it benefit them? If you allow people to always take advantage of you, you will never be able to come out of your situations to make the right choices that are best for you. You will always regret or get angry at them because they have persuaded you to choose the wrong decision. And they will not take that responsibility, but they will say that it is because you decided to make that choice, and you decided to listen to them, and to buy, and to 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 accept their decision, or accept what they have to offer to you. Because people who are like that, they don't consider what's best for you. They only think about what's best for them. As long as they can benefit from you, they're not concerned whether or not you really benefit from the decision that's made. Sometimes people think that they are giving you a benefit, but they don't recognize or they don't want to acknowledge or to help you in your situation, especially if you are dealing with financial problems. They're not concerned about your finances. They may say something to you to tell you that this other thing is more important. And that will come to cause division between you and them. You will end up despising that person because of their counsel, their wrong advice to you, thinking that they knew what's best for you. But if you are firm and you recognize and you can discern all the decisions and make the right choices, you realize that that's not best for you. You will easily come out of the situation and make the right decision from then on. Do not give in to them and you will not allow them to take advantage of you. Don't always believe that people are there to help you all the time. But oftentimes you may end up finding yourself having to go on your own to make your own decisions for every choice that you have to make. Sometimes people's advice can be helpful, 
But you need to recognize which ones are the right ones for you. Because not everybody's comments is always accurate and true. Some people may tell you stuff based on their own experience, but it may not apply to your situation. Or they may tell you things that they think because they acknowledge that they themselves are able to overcome their situation. But your situation might be different than that. You might have other things you have to deal with that they did not know about. So you may feel that whatever they're giving to you doesn't work for you. And they would not like it if you blame them for making a bad decision. And you yourself would need to recognize how are you going to react when people give you a counsel and the counsel is not good for you. If you keep allowing the person to give you the wrong counsel that doesn't work for you, but then you also tell them that they're responsible, they will never accept and acknowledge their wrongdoing. They will never accept the fact that they actually gave you bad advice. And they will never accept the fact that you listened to their advice and did it and end up having a bad result. Sometimes people may think that you didn't follow exactly what they said and you didn't end up getting the results that they got. But they may not always know the whole picture of your situation. This is when you need to come to the point of decision for yourself. Does it apply to you? You can look at so much information online to find out what people do through their different situations they go through. And only when you have discovered and realized all the pieces that need to be related to your situation, then you can figure out from there and make a decision. If you are a person who often prays regularly, then you should be counsel receiving counsel from that source that you're praying from. You should be able to receive the answer that you need. And also for yourself, use your own brain at the same time to see if this one is the right answer for you. You must try it out if you really want to see the results. Try not to always rely on others. When you need to do something, you need to learn how to act also on your own. When people see that you're able to take responsibility, it'll be so much better for you. You need to rise up and take charge over your situation. You should take the time to think about it and to make a decision that you're going to spend time even to try out making small decisions every day until you see the results that you will know exactly what to do. You'll have a better understanding of your situation, how to deal each, each with each one of them so that when things come to you, you won't easily fall prey into unexpected things happening to you. If you are driven to do the right, to make a decision on your own, the results will always be good for you. But if you always rely on others to make a choice for you, you're going to see the negative results when those, re when those decisions don't work out well. Be focused and be determined. Make the best decision that you need to make. Then you will be able to prosper in your life, will be successful. You'll find yourself achieving more, accomplishing more, and being benefited. So always keep this in mind to do what you need to do for your situation. And never to blame the other person if things don't work out. You need to make your own choice and decision. Then you will see the results. You can learn from your situations and learn from the decisions you make. That will help you to improve and make better ones. You need to exercise your ability to choose, to be decisive at all times. Then you will be able to see a breakthrough even in indecisiveness. Thank you for listening to Chelsea K Podcast. If you like this podcast, please like and share and subscribe with others. To others, share this podcast with others.
And if you're interested in supporting this channel, please check out the descriptions further. But also you can email, use the email, e-transfer, or send by PayPal to Chelsea to k-a-y-u-n-k-k at gmail.com. Thank you and have a good day, afternoon, and evening. Stay tuned for the next podcast. Thank you very much.